What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new extension from Curic for managing all of the different stuff in your model so you can have better performance. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so Curic SafeClean is an extension from Curic that you can download and you can download it for free if you want to, um, but it's basically an extension designed to help you clean up your SketchUp model without accidentally removing things that you want later. And so this is actually a really powerful tool if you use things like swapping out different components or you like different material options or other things like that. This is a better tool for purging than just kind of the blanket tool for the most part. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, you can download that for free by naming a fair price of $0, or you can also donate to Curic, which I recommend um, to support what he's doing and keep him uh, developing great SketchUp extensions. But once you download Curic SafeClean, what you can do is you can install it on your computer. So this is going to, or specifically in SketchUp. So when you click on I want this and you go through the process, you're going to download that RBZ file, the Ruby script file, which you can then install using the extension manager. So to do that, you would just go here. You would click on install extension and you would find the Curic safe clean extension or RBZ file and install it in SketchUp. Once you do that, you can access the tool by right clicking and checking the box for Curic safe clean. And that's going to pop up a little extension box that looks like this right here. And so this is actually really important and I'm hoping it gets updated for the new version of SketchUp because it's missing a couple functions that I think it really needs. And so remember that anymore, if you do a file save in version 2025 and on, you're going to get this purge unused option right here. Now, if you say yes, what it's going to do is it's going to purge out components, materials, environments, styles, and tags that are in your model that are not currently associated with anything inside of SketchUp. Now, that's great because what it'll do is it'll do a blanket purge. Right, It'll get rid of all the stuff that isn't currently assigned to um, a scene, right? Like for example, your HDR environments get saved to a scene right here. If you have a bunch of those in your end model that you're not using, then it'll remove the ones that you're not using so that you don't have to worry about them taking up space in the background. The problem is a lot of the time... I have things like component definitions inside of my SketchUp model that I want to keep even if I don't have the models inside of the actual like 3D workspace itself. So here's a great example. Um, I have this currently set up where I have a couple table and chairs models in here. So what I can do is I can right click and I can select all instances really quickly. Well, at the moment, notice how I don't have any of those white models or the white tables and chairs or these other tables and chairs in the model. So if I was to purge this right now, this would remove these from my in model section because they're not being used and I wouldn't be able to do that anymore. What Curic Safe Clean does is if you click on it, notice how it gives you an option where you can actually see the component definitions, materials, and tags in your model that are currently set up as being unused. So for example, like I don't want to purge out the tables and chairs models right here. But what I do want to do is I want to purge out the Steve model because I don't, I'm not using that right now. Same thing with materials. I might have materials in my in model section over here that I want to use that aren't currently associated with anything in the actual SketchUp model itself. Well, what this does is this actually lists out the unused things that are in here so I can pick them. So like, for example, I don't need these car paint materials in here. I don't need any of the Steve materials right here like this. So I could go through and I could pick all of those materials and I could purge those out. Um, anything in here that I'm not currently using, I can actually select them to purge, purge them rather than just purging everything from a blanket standpoint. And then over here, if I did have tags that I wasn't using, I could also check the box here. Now these tags are actually associated with these table and chairs models. So I actually want to keep those. But once I'm done with this, what I can do is there's an option for purge selected. And so let's look over here in our in model section of our components right here. So if we go to in model, scroll down, and we look at the Steve model right here. 
Well, as soon as I click on the purge selected, it's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to do this. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to purge out everything I had selected. Well, notice how that removed the Steve model and a bunch of materials in here, but it kept the things that I want. So this is a safe way for me to purge things in here without purging everything in my model. And so there is a skip option on here, which theoretically allows you to select things to keep and tell it to skip those. Um, I couldn't quite get that one to work the way that I wanted it to. So I'm just going to go with just selecting the things that I want to purge and just remove those. But this is a great start to a tool that actually allows you to selectively purge things in your model. Now, there's two things that I think are missing in the extension that I would like to see Curic add. First off, I would like to see this list out styles as well because you can have a lot of unused styles in your model depending on what you've been doing and so having the ability to purge out styles that aren't actually associated with anything could definitely be a welcome addition the other thing i would also like to see added here is hdri environments because a lot of the time those are the things that really drive up the size of your model and a lot of the time right if i go through the environments and i just click on them when i'm setting up a render so say i've got this view right here and I just click between the different environments like this. Notice what it's doing is it's adding every one of those to my model. So as soon as I click on it, it's going to add it to my model like this. And if I go to my in model, notice I have a bunch of HDRI images in here. Now, if I did that, a lot of the time I do want to delete some of them out, but I don't want to delete all of them out. Like if I bring in a couple from Polyhaven or something like that, I, I don't associate them with a scene. That doesn't mean I want to get rid of them. But a lot of these SketchUp ones, which are kind of low resolution, I might want to get out, right? Like I probably don't need the abandoned underbridge or whatever this is. Um, so I would like to remove that and it would be nice if this listed out the HDRIs that are in here as well or the environments that are in here and allowed you to do a selective purge there as well but still as a tool that gives me control over what I can remove from my SketchUp models this is actually really powerful all right, so that's where I'm in this video. I'll link to this extension in the notes down below. Uh, let me know if it's something that you might use or it's something that you're interested in. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.